three. Session two. Oh, weird. Let's go. Right, you should be warmed up and ready to go. Exercise one is a banded squat with a five second pause at the bottom. We're gonna hit five reps, but this week we're stepping it up to five sets. Now I want a slow five second count at the bottom. We're gonna keep tension on the band as well as keeping good posture, keeping chest up, keeping back straight. We've been talking about feet position. Everyone's feet position might be slightly different depending on flexibility and range of movement. Get your feet into a position where you can sit down into the hole and stay upright. Once you've done five reps, jog on the spot. When you feel recovered, go into set two. We've got it, so this week we are open it to five sets of this movement. Can't believe it's week three already. Here we go. So, Sandy's so focusing on pushing the knees out. We're going to have a narrow ass stance and rotate the knees out as long as we keep tension on the band, that's fine. Or you can take your feet position wider and add tension on the band. Either way, we're going to keep the back straight, we're going to keep core tight, chest up, we're going to sit down into the bottom phase of the squat, pause, keeping tension on for five seconds, drive out, and then straight back down. Yeah, once you've done five, drop on the spot, and that'll be set to complete. Good. And then all you're going to do is shake the legs out. When you feel good, you're going to go again. So you notice that over the three weeks, session ones have always been the same, session two, session three, so all we're doing is sticking to the same exercises, but increasing the intensity by adding more reps and more sets. So this is set three of five. Remember, if you need to take more recovery time, that sound, take more recovery time. We're just whizzing through it. Tension on, tunes up. We're jogging on the spot, we're keeping busy, we're keeping active. What's that? That's another new exercise. You're feeding them with new dance moves. Set four. Come on then, get your feet position, get tension on that band, get chest up, take a breath in on the way down, keeping core tight. Straight back down. There we go, so we're gonna accelerate out, but we're not gonna spend too much time when we get hip extension, just a quick glute squeeze at the top. Straight back down into the bottom position. Tension's on, back's lovely and straight. Tech, 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 tech us. Yeah, bang. There we go, class four sets deep. We've got one to go, and then we're moving on to any next exercise. Well done, so if you were uh, using a dumbbell, you would be holding it like this, yeah, as well as having the band. So if you do have equipment in the gym, if you're at the gym or if you've got equipment at home, add some weight, man. Add some weight, man. Yeah, man. Set five of five, exercise one. Ah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <you. laughs> you got some gas, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, come on. Keep your posture. So just check your feet position in terms of making sure we're not too far forward where the heels are coming up, but we're not too far back where the toes are coming on. Distribute the weight evenly across the feet, keeping chest up. Once you've done your set of five, with a five second pause, rest. That's exercise one in the bag. Exercise two, give yourself a rest. And then we'll go back to the band. The band's going to either be around just above the knees or below the knees. Again, it'll depend on where you'll get the most look activation. We're going to come in exercise two now. So, time to start. And I'll just keep um, pointing coaching points out for you. Going to come into a little bit of a squat where the hips come back. Because what we don't want is the hips coming forward. And then you're going to add tension on the band. And that's one rep now. Two, three. So we're gonna go for 20 reps, then rest three sets. Now what Sandy's thinking about is when she steps this way, now she's pushing off that heel. When she steps towards me, she's pushing off the right foot. From hips up, Sandy's keeping strict in terms of chest up, core tight. 
So we're not sloppy from hips up, every rep strict. Toes are facing forward, tensions on the band, hip angle slightly back. Rest, repeat, three sets. Can we get a jog on the spot? Keep them feet moving. Set two, come on. Just make sure before you start the movement, you get your, your, your tick off them teaching points, you get your posture set. We don't want them hips falling forward, just a little angle back on the hips, keeping chest up. Everything strict, toes are facing forward. Drive off that heel now. So what we mean when we say hips back, we don't need to stick the bone right back like this, but I don't want the hips coming forward. So just a little angle a little like that, Good posture, core tight. So from upper body, strict, pushing off the foot, depending on what we were going. Jog on the spot, and then we're going to go for one more set. Yes, man. Yes, the gap. Yes, the gap. He'll go 11s, 12s. Hell of an effort. Okay, guys, once Sandy's done this, she's going to flip straight back into um, the right leg just to keep the time down on the video. So, this is set to now. If you need a rest, just hit pause and then join we're back in once you've got your recovery. Sandy's going straight into set two. So I keep that posture, then. Watch your hips flat. Yes, yes, there you go. Nice. Okay, so while Sandy's doing that, just make sure we're keeping that posture, but also. What I want to talk about, which we haven't discussed, I don't think, on week one and week two, and with that progression of cardio, is at the minute you'll notice Sandy's leg is coming straight up. What we can actually do is slightly take that out to the side, just to get a little bit more activation, just a little bit going over, over sugar, so we still need to keep the posture, 
foot. We're gonna drive back and just slightly out to the side. Stay there like that there. Push it back straight and then drive and then squeeze good. Yeah, there we go. So this is set two on the uh, left side and then we're gonna flip straight back over for set three. Yeah, that's a win. Squeeze, release, hip extension, squeeze, release. Yeah, nice. Great work. One, last set. Two, good. Hip extension, squeeze, three. So we're focusing on keeping, again, strict from hips up. So Sandy's slightly moving that leg out now. Depending on the angle, you might want to just play around with it to wherever you're getting the most glute activation, okay? So to start with the last few weeks, you've just been kicking straight back and then try and see what that angle feels like. If you feel like your body's turning or you're feeling it more in the lower back, then just go back to straight leg kickbacks, okay? So something to think about, something to play around with, and this is Sandy's last set, and then we'll move on to your next exercise where we're coming down to your mat. Try and keep posture from hips up so we're just not getting sloppy and relaxed. We're going to keep everything strict. We're going to find the, the front, the foot at the top. We're going to create just an angle like that just so we've got something to push off. Now that knee's going to open up there, Sandy. Start by setting out 20 on one side, flip 20 on the other, three sets. Again, Sandy's just going to keep transitioning without any recovery. But if you need to take some rest and just make sure that when we open the knee up, that we are also turning the body, okay? So straight, play around with that until you get more split activation in terms of the foot position. 20 reps on one side, flip, 20 reps on the other, three sets, and then we're moving on to your finisher for a day's session. So we're nearly there, but it's at 20 reps. in the right angle. There we go. Two. Three.
bit just so we can move straight in. So you might remember from uh, last week, your finisher is a super set between Bulgarian split squats and standing glute squeezes. So the progression this week is that we'll start in rep range on your Bulgarian split squats increases to 12. So on week one we'll start on 8 and then 10 and now 12. So you'll do 12 Bulgarian split squats with the right foot elevated, 12 with the left foot elevated, and then we'll stick to 10 standing glute squeezes, which is where we'll just tilt and squeeze. Always 10 on the glute squeezes. Then we'll go back to your Bulgarian split squats, but the reps come down to 10 on each leg, back to your 10 squeezes. Eight split squats, 10 squeeze, six, 10 squeeze, four, 10 squeeze, two, 10 squeeze, and that's your finisher. Now we've added more reps, but we don't want to lose technique. So we've still got full range of movement. Once Sandy's finished, this set is going to go straight in. This is without the band, it's just body weight. And then that'll be your finisher for session two, week three. We're there. Set three, done, okay, moving on to your finisher. So Sandy's gonna go straight into our Bulgarian split squats, get our feet position set, get our posture set. Looking for range of movement, good technique, we're going for 12 reps now. So you'll notice the slight angle on the shin coming forward, which is fine, and Sandy's upper body is still straight, but it kind of mimics that angle of the shin. Range of movement, again, will depend on flexibility. We're looking for that front quad to get parallel to the floor without leaning too far forward. There, there, bang, drop, lovely. 12 on one side, 12 on the other, then straight in your set of 10 on your glute squeezes, standing glute squeezes. Tunes are going up. Challenge is to get down to twos. Let's go. And let's go. Drop and drive. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Well done. There's the switch. Great work. So 10 reps on each leg, then you're standing glute squeezes. Nearly 20 minutes gone, you lot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6s. Three. 
six and six. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. Well played, well sand. Done.